1,505 days, I believe, I had to listen to Shiva Tamal's endless stream of excuses as to why he couldn't get a motor built. And $26,000 on the block alone later, I've got a bunk motor, scored cam caps belonging to the VIN number to his car that he purchased way back in the beginning, like 2013, and he sold off about 40 days after my car showed up a stream of excuses why he couldn't mock up any turbo kits or do anything or take it get my motor built because he needed it in there but then i told him not to put that damn 150,000 mile crank in there and he wouldn't give me the specs he said it was good but look at that motor right there i tried to buy it when i was leaving he wouldn't sell it to me it has a vin number on the other side of it but i didn't get a picture of it but uh you know and then there's that uh valve cover he's all trying to pawn off that bullshit uh, mechanical fuel pump that wasn't even ready after four and a half years. How was I ever going to go down the track? He didn't even design it. He told me to jump on it. It was a good deal. Guy is such a fucking fraud, man. Look at that. And he charged me a bunch of money for line honing. Why wouldn't he sell me that? How does he need that to mock up when he doesn't have a car? Hell, he had my car for four and a half years. He couldn't mock nothing right up. Oh, that's right. He tricked me to get my car there because he told me his was gone. That's why I needed to get my car there to make the imaginary exhaust that came from nowhere, went nowhere. That's probably going on a Porsche right now, just like I thought. That guy's such a douche, man. Then he sells me a fucking rear end out of a goddamn Ford Sport Tracker. There it is. Years later, I pay for a brand new one, charges me 600 for that. Doesn't even fucking fit the billet rear end kit, man.